We're a country of 50 border states. Uh, somehow politicians from both sides of the aisle keep uh, focusing just on the Mexican border. Uh, you know, I wrote an article for Front Page Magazine, and I called it Border Security and the Immigration Colander. Any state with an international airport or lies on the northern or southern borders or has access to our coastline are all border states. And the impact is being felt clear across the country. Yeah, that's a great point to make because everyone always, whenever you talk about immigration and whenever you talk about border issues, everyone seems to focus just on the southern border of the United States and specifically on Mexico. Big mistake. And I'll tell you why it's being done in my judgment, because both political parties don't want to change the status quo. Why did it take governors to bring the lawsuit? Think about it. You have the Democrats and the Republicans thrilled with what Obama is doing, I think, behind the scenes. I'm so frustrated with both parties. I've come to call them the Democrats and the repugnant cans. I mean, this is ridiculous. No. Uh, our immigration laws are our first and last line of defense against international terrorists and transnational criminals. ISIS is on the move. How many more beheadings do we have to watch? How many more threats do we have to hear about? about those terrorists who want to come here. And it's not far-fetched. Mm -hmm. We were attacked twice in 1993 by terrorists. First, a guy by the name of Kansi from Pakistan, who had applied for political asylum, shot up the CIA, killed two CIA agents, and wounded three others, fled the country. One month later, bombing at the Trade Center, six dead, over 1,000 injured. They almost brought the tower down sideways. We had 9-11. You had right. the Boston Marathon bombing. And each time, what we're seeing are people who game not only being here illegally, but game the visa process and the immigration benefits program. In fact, one of the Tsarnaev brothers had U.S. citizenship. Yeah, absolutely. All of this began as, as immigration issues. And, and even with the student visa situation, again, I mean, it's, it's, we have 6,000 who are here on student visas, and we can't even track them. We have no apparatus in place. Uh, and you, you're, tracking isn't enough. Right. We just keep talking about tracking. There's nothing done even if you have the information. We have right. about 6,000 ICE agents or 7,000 for the whole country. Most aren't doing immigration work. Put it in perspective. New York has uh, 37,000 police officers just for New York City. We need lots more agents. We need more judges in the immigration courts and a determination to do the job. I just wrote an article for uh, Californians for Population Stabilization about the, uh, this decision, and I said that Obama's illegal uh, amnesty um, has no appeal right. because look at where we are. The courts understand the significance finally. Um, and uh, really, uh, I'm thrilled to death that the governors came forward because the Congress has been doing nothing. Yeah, oh, completely. And I, I'm a little shocked, too. I'm a little, I'm shocked that we, I, even though I know that we're right in the law on this, it's still shocking to finally see justice prevail with a system that a lot of people have lost a lot of faith in, although I am nervous about it going before the Supreme Court because it seems to be any more, more or less a wild card. But th this portion, DACA and DAPA, these programs that have been suspended uh, until we figure out what's going on because obviously they're going to appeal this uh right. what what kind of relief do you think that that how much of uh, how significant is the relief the the freezing of this program will that bring um to the agents that you said you know we need more of them they're already overwhelmed what kind of relief are they getting from this well they've got to get a little bit of encouragement and you know somebody and by the way i'm registered as a democrat i've always voted as an independent this is not a left right issue this is right. a right wrong issue and i will tell you i speak to the agents they are furious. They are upset. They understand how this threatens national security. They understand how it's hammering the wages of American workers. You have an administration that wouldn't know the truth if it bit them on the nose or some other body part. They, they parade these ridiculous unemployment numbers, 5.3, 5.4% unemployment. Meanwhile, we've got, what, over 90 million Americans of working age who are not part of the workforce. Uh, look, you don't drill more holes in the bottom of your boat if you have a leak. You know, the water isn't going to go out the hole you just drilled in the bottom of your boat. The solution for a lack of enough jobs isn't to bring in more workers. And it's not only being done at the bottom rung. And, and you talked about the 6,000 students. There are many more who've gone missing. But it's 6,000 that were identified as a potential threat. Wow. You know, I don't know if you know this, Dana, but back in 2002, two of the dead terrorists, Mohammed Atta, Marwan al Shay, two hijackers, were granted authorization to attend flight school, of all things, yeah. six months after the attacks. The world knew they were dead, knew they were terrorists. I was one of the four witnesses called before the House Judiciary Committee hearing.